I have this silly idea. I want to take uh, these two USB power devices, a uh, DVD optical media writer, reader, and then this floppy drive, and combine them into a sort of retro-inspired case. So is this silly idea really worth my time? Okay, so the problem is I have these two um, older media style devices and sometimes I, I have you know real reasons to use them. I, I often want to access something off of a floppy. Why? Uh, I don't know. Uh, because. And uh, you know more often than not I do actually use the, the optical drive. But the problem is they when they sit on my desk, uh, it just that they, they move around a lot. You know they don't have a lot of gravity to them. They don't they don't hold themselves down. They get kind of sloppy on the desk. So I'm, I'm having to kind of fiddle with them and move them in place. Or if I go to mess with cables, I'll inadvertently pull one aside and then you know just I don't know it just uh, kind of messes with me. I don't like it. So um, I have a 3D printer. I like to design and make things. So it looks like an opportunity. So some of the design considerations are, I, I, want, I don't want it to be whatever I do to be permanent. I want it to be a screwless assembly. So I just want to kind of pop this thing together and I'm lazy. So I don't want to put a whole lot of effort into it. So I prefer using uh, polyethylene or PETG as a, uh, I find the print quality tends to be the best for me. And uh, it's a tougher material also. The clips don't crack like I've had other things where the clips just don't hold up on like polylactic acid or PLA. So for my tools, I'm using my OpenSUSE Tumbleweed Linux framework laptop 13 computer. I'm going to be using Onshape as my CAD application because it works well. And I have a QIDI XMAX 3 or sometimes called Sheedy, I guess. Uh, and I'm using the, uh, the QI or the Sheedy slicer software. You know, I don't like how that name sounds. So QIDI, we're just going to call it that because it sounds more, um, I don't know, like I'm not trying to swear. All right, so I got my first print came off. Um, the quality is to my liking. I have no, uh, no complaints. So I think the way I'm going to do this See that you now this fits in here nicely. And all right. Let me make some adjustments again. I think I put too much of a chamfer in that. All right, I'll be back. All right, I tested this one out before uh, I put it on camera, so I got a little, put some rubber feet on there. Um, this one will work. Look at that, hot dog. And then, that's it, not too bad. This kind of sticks out of the back there. So, it's, I mean, it's not, I wouldn't call it pretty, but um, but it'll do. And I don't, it just it fits okay. Don't I don't like some of the, the wobbliness. And then I can pop it out. Again, I've already tested this. So there, I met my criteria of screwless design. And. Uh, you know, something I did not do is I have no locating features here from the top to the bottom. Basically, I'm using these these to uh, locate it, essentially. So they, that's not really good. So um, let's go back to the, uh, the CAD drawing board and make some modifications. Okay, so um, this printed off fine. Kind of put the uh, put the rubber feet on there. Made some made some spots for for the rubber feet to go. And now I, there's a couple things I don't like about it. Um, I didn't put any supports 
between here. I did want to make it vented so things could go through, but then after looking at the, the Commodore 1541, I'm like, no, this really wasn't, they don't have vents on the bottom like this. Um, so I guess I could probably get rid of those. And then the, uh, I put some angles here so it's a little bit easier to, to um, so when I put the top of it on, like the, when I put this on top, it doesn't, um, you can kind of slide it around so I don't have to fiddle with it as much. I don't know. It's probably a waste of time, but it also saved on material usage, so there's that. And I put some locating holes in here, so if I want to go to pop this together, it actually stays and doesn't wobble around, just like the other one. See, not, not cool. Anyway, um... Now let's test it out. Now I didn't change any of the interior features, so this should all be the same. It's just the, just adding the vents. My, yeah, should have done sort of some other, some other um, connections there would have been good, but um, oh well. All right. Now I do like that. And it has a little bit of a, you know, retro vibe to it. It's not the right color as far as like Commodore 64 land, but this is absolutely going to work perfectly. Let's see, I think the snaps work well. Very happy with that. This revised design is great. Now I I do realize this. You know, this will be published out there. You can go and download it and print it if you want. Uh, probably not going to be useful for everybody because, I mean, how many optical drives like this? I picked this up at a Walmart in, in Florida a couple of years back. And I have seen, you can buy these for like $30 still, I think, from LG. There's also the Dell has one very, very similar with the same. It's actually made by LG. just has a Dell logo on it. That, that would be the same as well as far as the, um, the geometry of it. I suppose you could modify the CAD to fit other other drives but overall I would say this is uh this is going to work I again I, I don't like don't like this and uh, also I, I should have put some sort of um, you know cross members in here to so it wouldn't it wouldn't spring like that I suppose I could play it like like a very sad guitar again the color's not quite right doesn't quite have that beige that I'm looking for. So I'll have to be on the lookout for some sort of a material like this. And then I could probably print it again, I suppose. But this really I'm I'm really very pleased with this. So now that I'm here, uh was it worth my time and effort? I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, and this is why. Now when I stick in a, a floppy, uh my it doesn't move around on me and I can well, okay. I could try if I try and eject it. Yes, it still does, but it's not as much. And then opening up the um, the optical drives a lot. You know, I can just push a button. It. It's not sliding around as much, and I like that. It doesn't just slide and um, get all sloppy on the desk. Am I that neat of a person? No, it just annoyed me, and I wanted to produce a solution. So. Hey, if, uh, if you like this, uh, feel free to download it and um, give me a thumbs up, thumbs up, or not, or if you got this far, uh, thank you. Um, I've got other bits of nonsense I've been working on that I haven't shared with, uh, with everybody, but um, here you are. I suppose if you want black, you could print it in black, but yeah, I don't know. I think the, uh, I can make some changes before I upload it, the final design just to improve the appearance a bit more. Yeah, it looks all right. All right, well, hey, thanks for watching, and then, uh, until next time, see yous. It may be silly, but I'm very happy with it.